Yo, what's going on guys? Right, today I'm going to be showing you the Damage VHS plugin. So first of all, you want to come to your um, your clip, uh, resize it how you want, um, and then compound the clip straight after. Once you've done this, drag the Damage VHS straight on. And instantly you've got this really cool damaged, gritty, grungy looking VHS, which you'd uh, sort of see in the old 90s as if it was worn out. Or like an old tape you'd find uh, maybe in an attic or something like that. Um, but straight off it's really quite cool and effective um, these are the default settings when you come into the default settings you can then change the static you can change the color Get all the sort of the uh, the static, the blue coming through along with the grain. You can change all the coloring, so the gamma. You can really start to bring and fade things out. As you can see, you can really take it quite far if you want to. Just bring these back to default. You can then really change the image size. Um, got the glitch at the bottom speckle density and then the clarity you bring the clarity down to zero start to bring back in these uh, sort of the, the red and green blue CRT lines sort of the scan lines keep it at two it blurs it out and you get this really sort of nice faded look and the grain size in the background so now if we come into our footage this is a severance clip if you resize like I said compound and drag on you start to get this really cool VHS look This is quite blurred. Not to mess around with the footage. As you can see, it's really, uh, really, really cool. You can use this with anything. You can use this with um, logos, footage for your music videos. It really works in a number of different ways. Um, so yeah. If you want to purchase it, head over to bluetooth.com. This has been a quick one. Um, thank you very much. Speak to you in the next one.